What's up everybody, Dr. Rossi, shrinksandsneakers.com. In a previous video, I covered a camper sat for alcohol use disorder, so I figured I might as well continue in that theme and cover naltrexone for both opioid use disorder and alcohol use disorder. So let's start with the basics. What's the mechanism of action? What makes naltrexone useful in terms of alcohol use disorder and opioid use disorder? So what this medication is going to do is it's going to block mu opioid receptors. Now there's mu, there's kappa, and there's lambda opioid receptors. This one specifically, going, this medication is going to be specifically blocking those mu opioid receptors. So it's a mu opioid receptor antagonist, which will of course prevent the binding of exogenous opioids from binding to the mu opioid receptor. So basically, if I were to take some type of oral opioids or something like that, and I was also taking naltrexone, the naltrexone would prevent the the feel the euphoria and this and all and block those receptors, preventing any of the normal response that one would have to opioids. So that's how it works with the opioids. For alcohol, it's a little bit different. So what naltrexone does for alcohol is it reduces alcohol consumption through modulation of the opioid system. So a slightly different way. And what the actual goal is, is to basically block the reinforcing effects of alcohol. So it modulates the opioid system, thus blocking the reinforcing effects of alcohol. This is FDA approved for two specific indications. One, of course, would be alcohol use disorder, and that would be in the oral or injectable form. More on that in a second. And also for the prevention of relapse to opioid dependence. And that's mostly the Vivitrol version of this drug, also, uh, which is the injectable or intramuscular version. So Vivitrol is the injectable or intramuscular version. Now, typical dosing, if you're using the oral form of the medication, it's about 50 milligrams per day. And for people who are using it for alcohol use disorder, you can start right there. And if you're using the injectable form of Vivitrol, it's 380 milligrams monthly or every four weeks. Now, you have to use caution in any patient who's using opioids. And this is why it's really difficult. A lot of the data shows that naltrexone is equally good to things like suboxone and buprenorphine in terms of preventing people from relapsing on opioids. But what the problem is, is most patients have a, a very, very difficult, terrible time staying off of opioids for seven to 10 days. So if you're going to use naltrexone, you have to be opioid free for seven to 10 days prior to initiating the, this medication. And if you are going to initiate it and you're not sure whether or not the person is, is off of opioids, then you're going to want to either do a urine drug test to see if the, if the urine is, is, uh, has any opioids present or you can do a naloxone test, basically, to see whether or not the person has withdrawal symptoms. So you wanna make sure they're off opioids, is the bottom line. Now, for alcohol use disorder, you can just start with 50 milligrams per day. However, the evidence tells us it is much better that the person stop drinking completely and be abstinent from, from alcohol prior to starting the medication. There's better results if you're off alcohol, is the bottom line. Now, some people prefer to go right to the 380 milligrams. A lot of times what I will do is I won't go right to the injection because we don't know if someone's never had naltrexone before, are they going to have some type of allergic reaction that we're not prepared for? So what I'll do is I'll give them 50 milligrams of the oral medication, see how they respond to it. If they don't have any acute side effects, then I can go ahead and dial up that 380 milligram Vivitrol shot and the reason why we like this for alcohol is because it doesn't give the person the option to choose not to take the medication. So if you have somebody who's just recently been off of alcohol, have been using for a while, it's going to be difficult for them to make the decision every day to take an, to take an oral medication. If you start with the Vivitrol injection, it doesn't allow them that opportunity to have to make a decision 30 times right, in a, in a 30 day period, um, whether or not to take the medication. So this eliminates that thought and that problem. Now, side effect wise, what are the side effects? There's nausea, vomiting, decreased appetite, which we've talked about now, Trexone being used in combination with bupropion for weight loss purposes. 
So naltrexone bupropion is a weight loss drug, and, um, and so decreased appetite naturally would be one of the potential side effects. Other things that you want to watch out for is what could be life-threatening called hepatocellular injury. So what that basically means is that you can get liver damage if you take too much of this medication. So overdoses can cause liver damage. But in general, when you're using in the proper dose range and the person doesn't have a pre-existing liver condition, this should be perfectly fine. Now, who is this good for? You might be saying, who, who would benefit from this? So basically, those that are ready to abstain completely from alcohol is going to be one of your best patients for this medication. So as I said before, the data indicates it works better when people are fully off of alcohol and not using alcohol in any form. Now, the other group that this could be beneficial for is those who are binge drinkers. So if you, want, if you have somebody who has trouble with binge drinking, then this could also be a useful medication. Now, there's good evidence, and the reason behind that is because there's good evidence to support the fact that this reduces the number of heavy days of drinking. So if someone is drinking heavily, this medication, naltrexone, will reduce the number of days of heavy drinking. So that's why binge drinkers might benefit from this medication. There can be, in some cases, apathy or depression or loss of pleasure. Now that will make sense to you because our opioid receptor system in our body has something to do, obviously, with pleasure, and that's why people use these drugs in the first place, is because it does offer a sense of euphoria and feelings of pleasure. So it would naturally um, seem, it would seem natural then that if you're blocking those receptors, you may get some dysphoria. So that's something to be mindful of and to watch out for when using this medication chronically for long-term for long-term uh, use. Now, the only other point I want to make about this drug is, like I said, because one of the side effects is decreasing appetite, you can use naltrexone in combination with bupropion for weight loss, and there's a specific medication that combines both of those together to create a weight loss medication. So if you have somebody who's worried about weight gain, this also could be a reasonable medication. With that said, I hope this is helpful. I hope this is valuable to you guys. Hopefully I covered enough about naltrexone. If you have questions or comments about this medication, drop them below. And if you want to see more uh, substance use related videos, I will continue to make more content.